Okay, this is a demo to show you the effect of how weld sequence can affect your final results. In this model, <coughs> we're measuring the spring back between the uh, base part and the tool. If I mouse over the original weld sequence, you can see we're welding across this top flange from the left to the right. So, and then you can see we have additional welds if we wanted to simulate, well, what if we welded from the right to the left? So with the original welds intact, if I do a nominal build, and go into that measurement, you can see the spring back value, which is the gap between the tool and the part is 3.12128. Now if I toggle these welds, if I, if I toggle these welds, now I'm welding this way across, I'm just going to separate and do another quick nominal build. I say quick nominal build, it takes a little bit of time apparently. And now you can see the gap went from 3.12 to 2.57. So starting to weld from here over locks this area first and the spring back actually decreased. This is just one example now. If I modified and welded from the center out, I'd get something else. But uh, this gives you an example how um, we can pick up the effect of weld sequencing.